Hello, my name is Dr. Jennifer Daniels and welcome to Healing in the Kitchen with Dr. Jennifer Daniels. In the Healing Kitchen, we believe that food heals. And the principles we follow here are, in order to heal, you need clean food, clean hands, clean heart, clean water, and clean dishes. Today's dish that we're gonna cook is sauteed squash. Sauteed squash is outstanding for healing arthritis and for healing hypertension. So, let's get started. Our first ingredient is zucchini. Now, this can be zucchini or yellow squash or patapan. Any of the summer squashes have the same effect. The zucchini is a phenomenal cleanser because of the high water content, the high nutrient and mineral content, and the high fiber content. So what happens is the fiber and the water helps remove those impurities in your joints that are causing all that pain. And so what you will find is as you eat this dish, your pain will become less and less over time. Now, the reason also that it helps with hypertension, because hypertension is the same as arthritis, only in your blood vessels. Zucchini is an excellent detoxifier, and we're just gonna cut this in small enough chunks to fit into our food processor. So we're just gonna take this, dump it in here. Then we have a nice little slicing attachment that makes it super fine. Now the food processor has several different thicknesses that you can cut. We're going to use the thinnest thickness because we're in a hurry. We don't want dinner ready tomorrow or in two hours. If we slice it really thin, this dish will be done in less than 10 minutes. That's exciting. Can you imagine eating food that's easy to make, tastes great, and it's quick? I mean, it'll be done in less time it takes for you to get Domino's pizza in 30 minutes or drive out to your favorite fast food place. Now this is another thing. When you're peeling an onion, you could get all technical about it, but just take off that whole first layer and it goes a lot quicker. And you got it peeled. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half and put it in our food processor. Now, the onions are phenomenal. You're looking at a blood thinner. That means it helps circulation. The major cause of hypertension, I believe. Now, I'm using a yellow onion. You could use yellow, you could use red, but the thing is you want to use a strong onion, the kind that makes your eyes water. You get the secondary benefit of when your eyes water, why they clean out too, it improves your vision while you're cooking. Good thing. Now, the next benefit, though, seriously, is if you use a very strong onion, you get more healing power. So you want a nice strong onion. So we're using a very strong onion. I can feel my eyes watering. Slice this up. We're going to take an octo food processor like this. Let's take this top off. And we can just pop our slicer right out here. Now, you can see we have the onions. The onions strengthen the heart. They thin the blood. They've got quercetin in them. And with your zucchini, you do not peel your zucchini. Why don't you peel your zucchini? You don't peel your zucchini because there's tons of nutrients in that skin. You got your chlorophyll to strengthen your blood, you got your, your minerals, and you don't want to miss any of that. So what you do then is you leave the skin on. Buy organic, leave the skin on, and scrub your vegetables. And that's that's pretty much the best deal you're gonna get. Because you have to weigh avoiding impurities or whatever might be on the skin, you have to balance that with the nutrients you're going to get when you eat the skin. Now, this is a very high uh, water content vegetable, and so it makes its own sauce. And we're not going to use oil because oil is not a whole food. It's a heavily refined product. It's difficult to digest, and it worsens the very conditions that we're trying to improve. And many people will say, oh, but doctor, I heard about this oil. Oh, I've heard about that oil. I've heard about the other oil. Don't worry about it, leave it on the shelf, it's okay. It turns out that even a, a healthy oil has been refined, has been removed from the fiber, removed from its water content. Why? To keep it so you can buy it in a bottle. The healthiest way to have any of your oils is to have them in context. So you want to eat flax seed, not flax oil. You want to eat olives if that's what you like, not olive oil. So you really want to move the oils out of your life. And once you get to that point where you're not eating any added oils, your health will just soar to a whole other level that you cannot even have a man I'm just going to turn this over so it doesn't get too much heat on one side. In the vernacular, it means so it doesn't burn. 
Now, there's some appliances that are really essential for the healing kitchen, especially if you're making a lifestyle change and you're switching over. You want to make things as easy as possible. Like you'll notice, I use a food processor, the slicing attachment. Slicing these could have taken me literally half an hour, even an hour more time than it takes for this dish to cook. But having a food processor, you just put the stuff right through and it slices for you. The other advantage, which I didn't realize when I first started having people heal naturally, was that many people, because of their affliction, they're trying to heal, it's tough for them to hold on to things and slice and handle that knife. And so you want to use things that make it easy on you, things like a food processor or a mandolin or some other slicing aid. Now, the zucchini and the um, onions taste great, but guess what? We're going to add a little bit of basil here. Kind of helps the nerves, helps you calm down, relax. Then we're going to put in some pepper. Pepper is really nice. Pepper helps with the breathing, helps with the circulation. Now this is a pepper grinder, so what we do is you buy your peppercorns whole and grind them right on the spot, right as you use them. Because? Because if you buy pepper already ground, then it loses its potency. Literally, the power of the, of the pepper dissipates. And pepper is actually a very powerful herb and has tremendous healing potential, so you don't, you don't, want, you don't want that to happen. You want to use your pepper full strength. If you buy your pepper already ground, you're missing out on a whole lot of healing. Now, if you're a purist, you might want to stop right there with this seasoning. But we know we all like a little bit of salt. So let's say you're trying to avoid salt. A lemon. A lemon will spice it up for you, make it interesting enough for you to eat, and tasty. At the same time, not blow your salt budget. Now, I'm going to squeeze this. And see there's a little seed coming out there. I'm just going to hit that seed out the way. Then we're going to squeeze again. Might be another seed that comes out. Okay, we're lucky. And the other ingredient for the healing kitchen is lemons, lemons, and more lemons. Because the lemons help you avoid vinegar and salt, which can be damaging, which can impair your health. And a lot of times as we're making a switch, we, we don't want to give up that flavor. And so lemons are really good. They're there to help you, and they're go ahead and use them. Now, a lot of people ask about lemons, limes, limes, lemons. From a healing perspective, they're equivalent. So if you like limes, use limes. If you like lemons, use lemons. You know what? This is done. How cool is that? Hey, it's done. Now, we have cooked some brown rice. The reason we have brown rice is because brown rice contains the outer bran layer of the rice, which contains the B vitamins, the minerals, all those nutrients you need to protect your heart and to prevent depression, among other things. So we are using brown rice. Now this is basmati brown rice, which is very aromatic. It has a great smell. It fills the whole room, makes everyone feel great. And they all come to the kitchen and say, no, dinner is almost done. So this is the rice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our sauteed vegetables. We're just going to spoon them right on top. Now notice that I've got as much or more vegetables than I have rice. That's actually pretty important. Because rice can be kind of dry and the vegetables act as a lubricant to help your body digest the rice easier. So as you can see, we have twice as much vegetables as we have rice. And the reason for that is, is the vegetables provide moisture, lubrication, antioxidants, and tremendous nutrition. So we're just going to taste this right now. Now this dish is an excellent, excellent dish to help with mood. It's very comforting and calming. It's an excellent one for arthritis because of the um, detoxifying effect. It's also excellent for lowering the blood pressure because of the hydrating effect and the detoxifying effect. So when you eat this, you're going to feel better soon. Mmm, that's wonderful. And thank you. This has been Dr. Jennifer Daniels, Healing in the Kitchen with Dr. Daniels. You can find out more about the Healing Kitchen and how you can furnish your healing kitchen at VitalityCapsules.com. And special thanks to the Foster Group. <laughs>